have to step out here and greet her in the present time. Hi, it's good to see you, Haley. And this is Bob Lucido. Bob, I know Bob pretty well. That's the reason I went to rip him a little bit. Haley, about 100,000 Denver, aren't you listening to us right now? And they were very anxious to hear you say something. How are you liking your Denver stay? Oh, I think I love it. I think it's smashing. <laughs> Where did you have dinner tonight? Um, we had dinner at Governor Mc Mitchell, Mitchell's house. At Oh, I see. Uh, Very good. And it was marvelous. And we met everyone, and they're all sweet, and we had a marvelous time. Haley, you're noted for many careers at the present time, of course. I'm interested to know which one came first. What, what did you get started in first? Uh, Acting or singing or what? Well, I really don't consider myself a singer. You don't? No. Well, there are a lot of people who do, however. Well, you're very modest, that's all. No, not a bit. I can't bear to hear myself <laughs> sing. <laughs> Do you buy your own? You don't buy your records then, do you? No, they keep them to me and I hide them away. You don't bury them or anything, though, do you? I want to. <laughs> <laughs> well, Haley, that's very interesting. I've never heard them. a vocalist make that comment before, but you don't consider yourself a vocalist. All right, we'll get off of that. When did you start acting? When I was 12 years old. Where did you start then? Oh, where? In England. And it was with a picture with my father. And um, it was originally for a little boy. But I did a test, and they decided that perhaps they'd change it to a little girl. Who is your favorite Hollywood actor at the present time? Do you have one? Oh, I, have, I admire a lot of people, but I think Paul Newman. Paul Newman. Mm -hmm. He's a good actor. He was good on Broadway, too, wasn't he? Yeah. He was excellent. Haley, I want to thank you very much for coming by. Is there anything you want to ask Haley, Johnny? Nothing at all. Johnny didn't get to talk to you this afternoon. This is John Mitchell from Hi, Jim Haley. Radio. Glad to see him. Haley Mills. And John didn't get to talk to Haley. And do you want to ask Haley anything? Haley, what, what can we expect from you in the future? Any, any new, what's your latest picture coming out? Well, in this Christmas, The Castaways with Maurice Chevalier. And right now I'm doing a, a picture with Debbie Wally and Eddie Hodges, Burl Ives, called Summer Magic for Walt Disney. That will be out this time next year, I think. How do you like working for Walt Disney? Is he a good man? He's the best. Uh, that's what I've heard all day long, you know. Walt Disney is the best. I'm happy to hear that. That's certainly our opinion, too, however. How do you like... Are you shooting with Maurice Chevalier now? No, I did that um, this time last year, the castaways. But um, he's in France now, somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Do you like working with him pretty well? Oh, yes. He's... Mom, just like on the Haley, thank you very much for coming by and talking with us. Really appreciate it. We'll see you soon. Okay. Thank you, Johnny, for bringing her by, everyone. Oh, boy, we have stars all over the place, ladies and gentlemen. I feel, I feel relic tonight. Bonicello and it's Tim Tindall from Tim Radio. Johnny got to talk to you this afternoon. Didn't you talk to Annette this afternoon? Yes, I did. So he had the pleasure this afternoon. Annette, it's good to have you in Denver. You've been here before, though. Yes. And we even talked to you on the telephone one time before when you were in town. Where did you have dinner tonight? We had dinner at Governor McNichols. I thought so. You were with Debbie and Mike, weren't you? He wasn't in town, but his wonderful wife was there and many guests, and we had a wonderful, wonderful dinner. Well, Annette, you've certainly had many careers and been noted for all of them, and we're very, very happy for you. Thank I want you to know that very much. Thank you very much. I've loved every minute of it. Of course, we'll always remember you best, I think, with the mouth here, John. Do you have a fond spot in your heart for that? Oh, I always will. It's the most fun I've ever had in my life. And, of course, it's being repeated on the air now. So I feel like I'm 12 years old again. <laughs> Do you have any new records coming out you could tell us about and give us a sneak preview? Yes, I have. Well, first of all, I have a new album called The Story of My Teens. And from this album, a single was taken, and it's called Mr. Piano Man. Is there any vocal track in there that gives them a glimpse into your life or anything of that nature? Or did you do that? You mean the album, The Story I thought, of Michael? I thought maybe you would go through a little vocal track explaining some of your life also, do you? Well, yes, it starts with the Mickey Mouse Club, and it explains my life all the way up until present day. Have any boys in it? No. <laughs> you didn't put them in, huh? No. <laughs> well, I, I guess that's all right. That's fine. Annette, thank you for coming by and talking with us. Thank Appreciate you. it very much. Thank you. Wish you a lot of success in the future, but I know I don't have to. Oh, I need it. Thank very, you very You're a very much. talented girl. Thank, thank you very much, Annette Funicello.
Do we have anybody this else? Is, this is the Mouseketeers Mouseketeer. Let me get okay, Jimmy Dodge over here. We can get Jimmy him. over here right quick. We've, uh, <laughs> we're at Celebrity Center, 888 South Cottle with a bar. Jimmy has Zindel. just wanted yes. to meet you. Hi, nice. Jimmy nice to see you. Nice to see you. Of course, you. I've Thank seen you. you on that screen a lot, but I wanted to talk to you tonight a little bit. Thank you very much. Do you like it in Denver pretty well, Love Jimmy? it. Love it. The only trouble is it's too short a stay. Oh. Got to go down to old Miami Beach tomorrow. What are you going to do in Miami here? Beach? We're going down to do some promoting of the Mickey Mouse Club. I'm so glad to have been here in Denver. I was only here once before, and it was for a uh, toy-a-thon about four or five years ago. And it was a very enjoyable stay. And uh, uh, this time we're staying at Cherry Creek Inn, which is lovely. And it's, it's a beautiful place. Sports Center. This is fabulous. They have some beautiful places along they the do. out here on Cuddle Boulevard. lovely Park. people in Denver. I mean, I've noticed this. I don't just say because we're here. We're very proud Lovely ladies. Really, I've seen it. It's gorgeous. We're, we're very, very proud of the people and the places that are going up around here, too, Jimmy. And also, I see that everyone is very civic-minded. They love Denver. I was true. glad to see that the Denver it's, Club it's, won tonight. They won that ball game. You right, know? they won the ball yeah. game. We're happy for the Broncos. Yeah. Everybody is jubilant. That field goal in the last half a minute. I'd like to I'd like to make an appearance on the Mickey Mouse Club sometime. If you ever reshoot anything, let me All know. Right. Maybe I, good. We'd like I, to have you. <laughs> we sure I, would. I would sure like to get on there. Jimmy, thank you for thank coming you. by. Thank you. Nice to be Appreciate here. Appreciate it very thank much. You. Jimmy Todd, ladies and gentlemen, whom you've seen on the Mickey Mouse Club many, many times. And there's just so much Mickey Mouse going on here tonight, I can't believe it. A boat race for water skiing in the pool! Yes, I should see that. And now, while they're water skiing in the pool, I think it's time that Johnny Mitchell and I relax our larynx. <laughs> Outside Denver, it's allegedly now approximately 70 mile high degrees.